Hello YouTube and welcome to Heathen Hacks. Today we are going to have a look at the VZ239HR, a 23-inch 1080p IPS panel from ASUS. The specs, features, dimensions, and accessories. I actually bought it on my birthday at the ROG Concept Store. Let's go! Before we start, I'm going to need to wear my gloves. You know how these things are. Most of them are fingerprint or smudge magnets. And my hands are sweaty because I'm excited. So, yeah. Just ignore the current state of the wires on my desk. I'm in the middle of rearranging my stuff. Here's the box. I'm gonna put this one down at the moment. Here's the front of the box, VZ239, hmm, I guess the HR is missing or they're too lazy to make another box. The sales rep at the store told me that the H and HR variation are basically just the same. I don't know, maybe you guys can tell me in the comments. Or click the link of the full comparison on the description below. Let's open it up, shall we? I bet it's snugly resting in the middle of the styrofoam. Here's the manual. The toolless stand. The power adapter. A free VGA cable. And a 3.5mm auxiliary cable for the speakers. I think it's for when you will use it as main speakers and partnered with the VGA port. No included HDMI cable though. It has a VGA and HDMI port, a 3.5mm jack port, and the one for the power. Here's the monitor in all its glory and in pristine condition. After cleaning up my desk a little bit, it's time to open up the second box. Here it is again. Here's a side view of the monitor. It has a super thin width at the top. And here's a regular size flathead screwdriver for comparison. I'm going to place it here beside my main monitor. It's a bit difficult to align them together if they are not VESA-MAN compatible. Eh, I guess that'll work. As you can see, it's not entirely glare-free, especially when the light source is near or directly in front of the screen. Here they are both powered up and uncalibrated.
Here's the out of the box default setting of the monitor. Time to test the 1.5 watt speaker. Hmm, okay. Here's how you can set it up. If you're using an NVIDIA graphics card, right click anywhere on your desktop and click the NVIDIA control panel. Look for the setup digital audio on the left side and check to see if it's already enabled. If it's already enabled and there's still no sound coming from the monitor speakers, reboot your computer. If you're using a DVI port and an adapter to connect your HDMI cable as I am at the moment, reboot and go into the BIOS settings. BIOS setup or layout may vary on different motherboards. Enter advanced mode. Click on the system agent configuration, then enable DVI port audio if your monitor is connected to a DVI port. Then click save and reset. Click on the volume icon and select the name of the monitor you want to use as a speaker. I don't think it's possible to use both. Okay, let's see if that'll work. Here's a sound test of the speakers on both monitors, both on 100%. Now here's the sound for my speakers. Too loud. Here it is, fully calibrated and according to my preference. 
Here are some things you can do with the multi-monitor setup. You can listen to music or watch videos while you're doing some freelance work. Play games while monitoring the status of your PC. Listen to music and monitor things while using Photoshop, okay. Illustrator, <laughs> Premiere Pro. After Effects and the like. Especially if you're a music producer, video editor, programmer, or an enthusiast. If I leave the crash site, the driver will get away. 